if you understand the charges are bull why the f are you so pressed about another black rapper just being in prison and coming out of prison with some bull charges? Yeah, Gunna is free, by the way. Uh, apparently, he got time served. Why the alpha plea, Gunna? He's not making any apparently, uh, Gunna is now free. Uh, he got time served, and he pled guilty. Uh, ridiculous that he was ever in jail, by the way. F insane. Right now, guys. Mother f the American court system. When guys sn snitched on Thug for a McDouble, the f do you mean? What do you mean? Like, he should have never been in jail, dude. What are you talking about? That's insane. Like, they, they, his, his association with, uh, with this gang because of the Rico case was that he was a part of YSL. That's it. And that they said that he sold drugs back in the fucking day. Let's talk about Gunna real quick, and then we'll get to Turkey and all the other stuff that we're going to talk about, okay? Gunna and alleged gang co-founder negotiate guilty pleas in the YSL Rico case. Two co-defendants, including Atlanta rapper Gunna, have entered a negotiating guilty plea, okay, ahead of the Rico trial against Young Slime Life gang scheduled next month. YSL is not like a real gang, even though there are gang-affiliated people, there are gang members in YSL, or former gang members in YSL, or even people that have done things that are mean in the past inside of YSL. YSL ultimately is not a gang, but instead a record label. However, what ended up happening for Fannie Willis, the uh, awful DA that is, uh, you know, should be fucking focusing on hitting Trump with a Rico, which he is doing on the side, a careerist uh, DA... Uh, decided to use the RICO charges on uh, uh, a lot of these guys, okay? Now, RICO is already like a loose association. It's, it's created so that they could go after organized criminals, um, you know, the mafia, because a lot of uh, members in the mob, like higher-ranking officials in the mob, rarely ever actually execute or facilitate the hits on their own. And they just basically send other people, low-level people, out to do it. So there's like they're removed from the crime, even though they basically take advantage of the the uh, amenities, I guess, or the the benefits of being able to do such crime, right? Anyway, I don't agree with the charges, but YSL is a gang. My friend is Thug's photographer, dude. My uncle is Young Thug. Um, YSL is a gang. YSL is a gang in the same way that the Juggalos are a gang. YSL is a gang in the same way that like you could consider many different formations to be a gang. There, are there criminals inside of YSL? Yes. Are there former criminals inside of YSL? Yes. Did uh, YSL members ultimately sometimes act in a criminal fashion? Certainly. But uh, to claim that this is like organized, it's an organized crime syndicate uh, and their main output was like organized crime is fucking crazy. No, that's not true. I don't believe that. I don't agree with that. Um, anyway. Okay, let's continue. So um, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office confirmed Walter Murphy entered a guilty plea deal, uh, entered a guilty plea deal Tuesday and Gunna, whose real name is Sergio Kitchens. Um, dude, by the way, have you guys ever seen Gunna's high school rap song? This is so funny. <laughs> this leaked the other day, which is like significantly worse because like this gives him. Um, this basically gives him street cred. Meanwhile, this takes all that street cred away, dude automatically wait where the fuck was it i can't sergio kitchens baby uh, hold on god damn it it never leaked it's been up for years what the fuck you talking about okay well it leaked for me shut the fuck up keith made me well how am i supposed to link you up with these rappers if you keep doing this first of all gonna literally his management literally told me that i was too you know not problematic but like he said I was too controversial. Like, that's what his management said. When, when uh, uh, we were in talks with his management to ha have him come on the stream. So, like, <laughs> not saying I would have got him out earlier, okay? Uh, I am still very much an advocate for freeing uh, Gunna and was an advocate from the jump. But, like, it is wild that he said that. And this was, like, after he was uh, shot at, too, a day after that. It's like... Anyway, uh, where is it? I'm trying to find the fucking Gunna High School rap. But anyway, whatever. Code for white, brother. See, you don't even know the lingo? 
for hum- wait what do you mean it's code word for white like i'm controversial because i'm white what do you mean gonna literally performed at the hundred thieves compound like okay okay if he is if he's down to go to the hundred thieves tostitos compound and fucking perform then i'm sure he doesn't have a, a an issue Basically, they're saying you're a fed. Yeah, dude. And then they go on fucking DJ Vlad. You know what I mean? Okay, let's continue. Um, according to court documents, Murphy was sentenced to 10 years with one year commuted time served and nine years on probation. Kitchen was sentenced to five years with one year commuted to time served and the rest of the four years of his sentence suspended and subject to special conditions, including 500 hours of community service. Okay, he's required to spend 350 hours speaking to young men and women about the hazards and immorality of gangs and gang violence and the decay it causes in the community. My focus on YSL was entertainment rap artists who wrote and performed music that exaggerated and glorified urban life in the black community, Kitchen said in a statement. I love and cherish my association with YSL music, and I always will. Yeah, dude, JH, bro, come on, come on, bro. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm too white, right? Like, the, he fucking got interviewed by today JSB, have... bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna be with me. How's it going? What's up? How's it going? Oh, this is the rap song, I think. This is his... Trick. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is it. You know what to do. Yeah, I hope y'all pay. This is E-O-C-T. Okay, do it for our school. Who that? Go black and green. Like stand, you know that I strongly care. Take your tits and pass it. Yeah, it's better that you study more. Wow. You can get a higher okay. scale. Now go on and turn it up some turn more. It. Yeah, I hope you do your best. Yeah. Concentrate, don't break no sweats. We want checks and out of checks. checks. Then you chop checks. your partner like her. Cut. I pad my test. That's no flex. I'm moving on up, so tell me what's what next. Got high on the test. I don't need no X. I'm educated. Dummies, they gon' keep on yeah. hating. They mad cause I'm elevating. Passing class and graduating. I feel like the man. Yeah, man. Boys, pull up your pants. your pants. I'm turning up and burning up. So pass your test and be cool as a fan yeah i mean that was for a school project which okay everybody calm down like it's fucking he's like a baby as the windows movie maker beat i hope my school raps never come out um you know it's just it's fine like it's it's cool it's it's chill anyway um <laughs> that is fire and he was just trying to graduate no i i I love Gunna, okay? I, I'm fucking around. Everybody calm down. Like, I, I'm, I'm glad that he's out, um, especially because I already consider that he is, like, I already personally uh, feel like he should have never even gone to fucking jail. That's insane. Anyway, in a statement released through the attorney's kitchen, said he had entered an Alfred plea, which is a guilty plea to the one charge against him in the indictment. He said the Alfred plea was in his best interest and allowed him to maintain his innocence towards the same charge. Sato said Kitchen's sentence would be terminated after completion of his community service. He is to have no contact with the co-defendants, no guns, and if called by any party during the trial, he reserves the right to assert his Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. The defense team is extremely pleased that Sergio Kitchens, better known as Gunna, was able to resolve his case on such favorable terms. Yeah, the reason why he was able to fucking resolve his case on favorable terms is because the charges brought against him were kind of fucking bullshit. Like, yeah, he sold a little bit of drugs. Like, that's crazy. That's that's insane, in my opinion, to, like, hit him with anything. Suck my dick. Like, look, I've been, I think, fairly, I think I've been fairly fucking consistent on this. Yes. Like, it pains me to say this, but yes, Young Thug made a lot of fucking mistakes, okay? He did. He made a lot of fucking mistakes. Um, like, putting his fucking name on the rental of the car that was used to do a drive-by shooting. That's insane. Like, that is a, a, a gigantic... That is a gigantic fucking, uh, you know, mistake. Uh, and there's also more information about the back and forth. I mean, there's, like, a lot that they did. They, I mean, they fucking allegedly shot up... Uh, uh, what is it? Birdman and Lil Wayne's uh, tour bus. But... As far as like, uh, as far as Gunna's involvement goes, like I think it's fucking bullshit. I mean, even the plea itself kind of shows it's fucking bullshit. Like they're making him do community service and saying he got time served. If he was like this rugged fucking dangerous drug dealer that the streets are now safer 
ever than ever before because he's like removed from the streets, then he wouldn't ever get a fucking plea deal like that. You have to be out of your fucking mind if you think that that is the the case. You know what I mean? Like that that deal that he got in and of itself shows that like yeah, it's just you know we gave you we fucked you over. Can't say the same about Young Thug. I mean, I can say a lot about Young Thug with respect to like why people turn to a life of crime, what happens, how difficult it is to get out of it. Um, but ultimately, yes, uh, you know, Young Thug, there is a lot more evidence that he was personally uh, involved with a lot of things that uh, are that go way beyond fucking just like selling drugs. OK. Anyway, um, authorities say Williams and Kitchens are leaders in the gang. Attorneys for the rappers have contested the charges for months, arguing in hearings and court filings that YSL is just a record label, not a violent gang. In a statement, Gunna said he joined YSL in 2016 and did not consider it a gang and more like a common group with common interests and artistic aspirations. Gunna said he had no intention of testifying during the trial. While I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness. Um, they're going to be calling 300 witnesses during the trial, which is expected to take six to nine months. Holy fuck. Murphy was allegedly involved in aggravated assault with a deadly weapon in 2013 and attempted murder involving four different victims in 2015. During a bond hearing in June, Hudson said Murphy had already faced charges on those incidents and had pleaded guilty or guilty to reduce charges. Murphy had spent seven years in prison on criminal street gang, aggravated assault, and aggravated battery charges from a 2015 case. What the fuck is going on, dude? Hold on one second. Murphy is alleged to have co-founded YSL gang with Williams and co-defendant Tron Tavius Stevens in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area, according to the indictment. Uh, Murphy has a tattoo of the letters YSL on his forehead. In an interview with Channel 2 Action News, Murphy says YSL was not a gang. I would rather say he's more like a record label or a family. Okay. Okay, Elon Jet has been unbanned, guys. I see it. Okay, I see it. I hear it. I understand what you're saying. I'm talking about something different right now. We'll get to that, okay? Leave it up to the white boys in the chat for like, Three seconds we talk about like black dudes in prison and they're like, Dude, get back to the white kids account! Get back to his Twitter account! I got it, man. Elon Jet is free, dude. Oh my god. Uh, Otto von Bismarck he says, uh, it's great that Gunna is free. The downside is that they now uses guilty plea against Thug, claiming that there are admissions and evidence that YSL is a gang involved in racketeering, among other things. It's just a way to add the notion of collective guilt in the jury's mind. It's the same energy they use on Draco. Charge the stink team members with frivolous minor crimes that carried major sentences with gang enhancements. Get them to plead guilty for time served as a way to help build their case against their main target, evil shit. It's an Alfred plea, but it doesn't matter because like it's it's enough for them to to consider him guilty and, and give him time served. Which, like I said, if he's if he's this dangerous, rugged drug trafficker, then like why the fuck do they let him out? Okay? Why? Why did they let him out? Wait. It's not even drug charges. What was the evidence brought against him? Wait. Oh, my God. It's even worse. I thought it was drug charges. Atlanta rapper Gunna was released from a Georgia prison on Wednesday, pleading guilty to one charge of conspiring to violate the state's Racketeer Influence Corrupt Organization Act. That's it? Dude, that is so fucked. So they just slapped him with everything. Dude, this case is fucking insane, dude. The more I hear about this, the more I'm like, it's so frustrating. It's a violation of First Amendment, like freedom of expression, in my opinion. And this is not just my opinion, but it's like shared by ACLU lawyers as well. To just like not have enough evidence against a, a group of black people. And then just saying that, well, they're rappers and they threw up signs for their record label. Which means that they're all fucking criminal gang members. That is psychotic. Like, you only use that if you don't have enough evidence. And usually, it's a valid reason to use it against organized crime because there's plenty of fucking evidence. Like, you know who the mobster is by name, right? So if you can fucking pin the crimes on the actual main mobster or the, the, the criminal organization that you're talking about, that's fine. But that's like, this is literally like going after fucking random Italian dudes on the streets, okay? That's like the cousin of some guy. That's crazy, dude. Like... This motherfucker wasn't even a part of YSL for that long. Like, he joined in 2016. It's insane. His crime was just being a fucking... His crime was being a, a, a good rapper, like, who became a prominent name. 
that was his like major crime. That's fucking wild, dude. I understand why you would use RICO charges against certain organized, uh, certain groups of organized crime that are actually fucking organized enough to like literally uh, uh, set up a system where like the actual boss is completely unimplicated from the crimes that he is like personally, uh, personally throwing out there. But like, it's so clear that YSL as an operation was just more so a fucking record label with like criminal associations. There's no better, there's no better example of this. And the lack of organization from this, from this supposed organized crime group, then fucking young thug putting his goddamn name on a fucking rental car that they used to kill someone in a drive-by shooting. You think if you think you need a fucking Rico charge for that? You think that's organized crime? It's so fucking disorganized crime that this dumbass put his fucking name on a rental, dude. Like, that's crazy. That's an insane thing. You do this for organizations that are like 11 steps removed from the fucking, like, the, the guys who are the hitters on the ground, okay? You don't use this against a group of people who are like, yeah, we're rappers, and also, you know, we come from a background of fucking doing uh, uh, gang shit. Uh, that's nuts. Like, you're, you're comparing, you're using, like, cartel charges against a group of rappers. Anyway, I do find it fucking insane. Dude, come on, bro. What? Why do you think YSL isn't a gang? The charges are illegitimate, but Gunna is also a murderer, man. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Because it fucking seemed like they didn't have him on that, though. It seemed like they had him on being a part of YSL since 2016. So don't you think that they should maybe use that instead if that's the real reason? Or do you mean he murdered fucking rap music with his high school project that he uh, put out there with Waka Flocka Flames uh, beat on the background? Is that what you're talking about? Your name is Chief Ken, which I don't understand. I, I, I don't get it. Like, you, I just said the charges are bullshit. Holy shit, that isn't my point. So what is your fucking point? That you think Gunna is a murderer and therefore he should be in prison even if it's under bullshit charges? Like, why are you fucking arguing with me over this? That Fed posting chatter again who wants you to DM you on Discord? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Half the time, it's motherfuckers with, like, rapper names, too, that, like, love shitting on black people. You love consuming black music, but you hate black people immediately. When when uh, the person singing the song turns into a human being with, like, real uh, aspirations and, and you know, uh, civil liberties that should not be violated, you turn into a Naperville Andy so fucking quick, people's heads spin immediately. It's, like, it, it's so weird every single time. It's like, oh, my cousin does photo photography for YSL, and he knows that they're murderers, dude. It's like, oh, shit, are they? Okay, well, then why aren't they fucking investigated under murder charges? Do you want photo proof that I'm black? Holy shit. Well, it doesn't matter if you're fucking black or not, because, you know, you're behaving in a very weird way right now. If you understand the charges are bullshit, why the fuck are you so pressed about another black rapper just being in prison and coming out of prison with some bullshit fucking charges? He's like, I'm black, but I'm also an enthusiast of the criminal justice system. <laughs> like, I, I don't get it. I don't get what your point is here. Anyway, regardless. When did I ever say that? What are you saying then? What are you saying? Young Thug didn't put his name on that rental. The cops use records from a guy that has the same last name. Wait, what? I mean, unless you got your facts wrong there, I'm pretty sure he put his name on the rental. I don't understand what this man is saying. I want to know what his, like, what his gripe is here. Like, I just don't time him out. I want to know what his gripe is. He's a 20-month subscriber. I want to know what his gripe is. I don't give a fuck if you're black or white, by the way. I don't care what the charges, but YSL's a gang. My friend is Thug's photographer. They literally have to commit murder to get into YSL. That's not true. Each of the members have literally committed murder to get into the gang. I will literally link you to prove my friend is being the photographer in your Discord. Bro, if your friend has, like, photographic evidence that, like, gonna murdered someone, he should probably work with the... F I mean, maybe he should keep that to himself, but, like, you know, don't, don't bring it up in here. This guy is literally like, bro, bro please, let me Discord link you a, a fucking... Want their time for fame? Probably I've gotten word that a few federal servicemen keeping an eye on your stream. Bro, this person 
is gonna fucking literally become the next uh, like actual fucking gunna if I don't cover this uh, gaming artist going on strike because of the AI thing. He's losing his fucking mind. I've been talking about a completely unrelated thing in the chat, and he's like, dude, if you don't fucking cover, if you do not cover the protests that are emerging in the gaming industry as AI starts to steal the artist's work, I am going to fucking lose my mind. Calm down, okay? It's on the docket. We're going to talk about it. Please. Man, I don't want to see your fucking proof of, of gonna being a murderer or whatever, okay? Just send it to the fucking authorities if you want to deal with it that way, okay? I don't, I don't want to be fucking involved in this. What, what is this? Motherfucker's like, I have evidence, dude. I have proof. I have conclusive proof. I have evidence that these guys are, are actually uh, murderers. Uh, like, please, please let me discord you. No, I, and I know his ass is just going to send me a fucking DM with, like, his, his friend who's a photographer and be like, look, see, I told you they're friends. And he told me that he, they're all murderers. And it's like, okay, well, there's no evidence of that, but he's still, you know, th then he got his point across. No, I'm saying my friend is the photographer. Dude, what? But that's not evidence of anything. That just means your friend is a photographer. This is your responsibility as a county coroner. Do your job. Anyway. My friend works as a taxi driver. I can send you photo proof on Discord. Anyway. Okay, we're done. We're done with all that fun stuff. Let's get back to the matter in hand. So here is here's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I know Elon Jet is free, okay? What I'm trying to say is if they had better charges against someone like Gunna, if they had better evidence against someone like Gunna, they would use that evidence. They wouldn't use this with a fucking bullshit. Like, you know, bullshit barely uh, associate, like, loose association. Okay? Loose association with YSL to say that, like, that's the reason why he needs to be taken off the streets. Because that's the main reason why you throw someone in jail. Right? That's fucking stupid. That's insanely stupid. Murphy completes all the conditions successfully and has no violations of the law greater than a high and aggravated misdemeanor. His probation will be suspended after five years. Okay, Murphy turned himself in on June after being named in the indictment. Channel 2 reported. Cousins said Murphy has already been released from jail. The guilty plea comes days after co-defendant Cordarius Dorsey was sentenced to life in prison for 2019 DeKalb County murder. Authorities say Dorsey held a leadership position in the YSL. Everybody's a leader in the YSL, including people that joined YSL in 2016. Crazy. It's like... What a gang this is that like uh, they don't care about like your abilities as a as a shooter. They don't care about how much how much weight you're pushing. They simply care about your rapping abilities. It almost feels like it's not a, a gang at all and just a record label with associations with criminal elements. I don't know. Like, how the fuck do you become like what what gang is like, oh, man, <laughs> you know, you, you rap really well. Uh, you're a leader now. You're you're a part of our you're a part of the the gang now. You're you're the leader of the gang. As I was saying, uh I'm glad that Gunna is free, but he should have been from the jump, okay? Uh and it's bullshit and now they will use this as like additional evidence. Okay? Here, I'll change my title to Gunna free, Elon Jet free. I'm going to I'm going to end it here.